today we're going to talk about a comic book by Cullen Bunn called Unearth. Unearth is a comic book series by Cullen Bunn. Art, the name escapes me, I'll pop up at the bottom. I've read volume one of this digitally and I thought it was great. Basically, it follows the story of an outbreak in Mexico where a team is dispatched comprising of doctors and military personnel to investigate it and try and control it. It's not like a normal outbreak. People are being mutated into these gross, uh, uh, homogenous blobs. Um, and so there's lots of, sort of body horror going on right from the start. The team is not the most stable team in the world. You've got a lead scientist who is... Uh, got some psychological problems. Um, you've got a lead military guy who's also got some psychological problems. Um, and then you've got the people believe them just trying to hold shit together. Um, they swiftly get dispatched to a cave system that they think might be the um, source of the outbreak uh, with oversight from a team on the ground. And very quickly they discover that there's ancient markings in this cave system. There are strange creatures in there and that people who get exposed to these creatures and this case system start mutating and changing in very strange, horrific ways. You very quickly get a cave-in that traps them and forces them to move forward, uh, and those with psychological problems start fracturing immediately. The team splits up, because, you know, that's what you do, you split up, don't you, when you're in a bad situation. And one goes deeper into the cave, one stays behind to try and clear their blockage. Uh, there's some cool science fiction stuff in there, all at the same time, all wrapped into this sort of body horror theme as well. And as you get deeper into the first volume, you find that there are sort of Lovecraftian elements seeping into the story as well. Um, spoilers, it turns out there is a sort of elder god, let's say, that, has, that was summoned many millennia ago, that's been sleeping under the ground. Um, it's been trying to mutate the local populace into bodily organs to sort of replace itself and it calls the mutated villagers, the mutated people to it and then absorbs them into its body and depending on I think what your problem is you will either be part of its intestines, its heart, its, its brain. It ends up with people who you wouldn't necessarily think would be the final people let's say uh, escaping, the final girl escaping um, but that was nice because it, it adds for twists when people die in it. And again, spoilers at the end, you have this creature awakening. So I don't know where the rest of it's going to go. I'm going to buy the rest of the series because it was a really exciting, really fun read. I ripped through the book um, straight away and it's the kind of thing you can see in your head being made into a film. A good film. Um, a scary good film. Especially if they did it with all the right effects as well. Because it's like a combination of the thing um, and the descent and stuff like that. And you can see the artwork in it is great. It's sort of even little hints like when they go into the cave, the cave looks like it's got teeth around it. And the body horror stuff, it looks good. People look like they're turning into sets of intestines or sets of, um, let's say, the brain, you know, with all the little squiggly bits. Um, it's just good. And even the, the little robot they have to help them, the mule, it's something that you recognise from seeing on telly, like, um, like on the gadget show or something. And it's, it's only set in 2022. Um, there's also sort of a little bit of comic relief on the um, surface with the surface team. There's the military guy in charge, he's trying to vape and he goes, this is crap, I want to, if I'm going to kill a load of people, I need to have a cigar at least. And silly little things like that. Um, I really think it's worth picking up if you like horror comics, or you like science fiction, or you just want something that's an exciting read with a story that you can either leave at the end of volume one and go, okay, everyone's fucked, or maybe read forward and see what's gonna happen now. Is it gonna turn into a sort of plague type series um, where they're fighting this infection above ground with lots of mutants and creatures, or is it gonna be something else? I haven't got a clue. Um, let me know what you think of the series if you've read it. Um, certainly volume one, I'll talk about the second half of it once it's um, fully concluded its uh, second arc. And please feel free to give us a thumbs up, a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching.